Hey guys, Crazy Gringo here. And today I'm just gonna show you, or tonight, I'm gonna show you how to make a skin for Insurgency. A uh, weapon skin. And the skills are gonna be transferable to, um, probably most Source Engine games and a lot of optics and stuff like that. This is where you're gonna wanna start. So. I'm not going to open it up right now and make it longer than it needs to be because this is going to be uncut. But the uh, very first thing we're going to need to do is get these two applications. Darn it, you're not going to be able to see them because all my shortcuts got messed up. But you're going to need a program called GCF Scape or GF GCF Scape, and you're going to need a program called VTF Edit. I'll try and put the links in the description. If they're not there, um, you'll see what they look like soon. So first thing is go to computer, local disk, and uh, we're gonna have to find the uh, weapon files. Yeah, I'm tired. Anyway, it's gonna be called um, Insurgency Two, and first thing we're going to do is after we have those two programs uh, you're going to go into insurgency keep going down until you see insurgency underscore materials underscore dir open it up so click on materials go down to models where are the models there they are I found you go down to weapons and this is the program uh, GF Scape. That's what the icon looks like. Um, and then this is where all the weapons are. Now, file naming is very important, so you might want to keep this open. Um, if you have like a lower lower end laptop, you might not want to keep it running, depending on what editing program you use. But uh, let's say I want to edit which one I want to edit. I want to do the uh, AK. S74U. So I'm going to double click on it. And this is what you're typically going to find. However, some files like uh, the M1, A1 have different stuff. And you are going to use the same files. I'll show you those in a minute. Uh, one thing I want to show you is if you're planning on editing the M16, um, don't worry about the M16A4 file. You want to use the M16A3 file. Inside of that, you're going to have the uh, M16A4 files. I don't know why they don't like that. I guess they plan to have the A4 and A3. Um, they just have the A4. The A3 is a uh, fully auto. A4 is a four-round burst. Um, I'm going to use or edit the uh, AK74U. AK74U. Um, we're still using GCF scape. This is where the VTF edit is going to come in. A VTF is a valve texture file, and uh, that's basically what they use for their textures. I mean, uh, it's it is what it sounds like. You're going to have probably six, seven, eight files here. You're going to have some that look like this. It should be all. You'll have some files that are just text. You'll have some files that are weirdly colored you don't have to worry about those only files you're gonna worry about are weapon underscore uh, AKS or 74u underscore DM dot VTF unfortunately you can't really see too much of it right now but this is the uh, wait, wait, this is what you see in first person when it's very small and you're going to need two files and it's going to be weapon underscore aks 74u underscore dm dot vtf um, that's going to be the first person the third person which some guns you don't have to worry about like the uh, m1a1 you don't have to worry about the third person view and this is going to be like uh, in the loadout selection or when you're holding it obviously this is going to be if someone else is holding it and it's going to be the exact same thing as this one only after weapon you're gonna have underscore W so it'll be this one too and once we get to these files we're just gonna hit file then we're gonna hit uh, export and I have 
these go into a uh, special file. Eh, not there. There we go. And you're just going to save it wherever you want it. And this is going to put that. No, it's not. I lied. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm sorry. I do want to get this out for you guys, though. Because there's not a single video on how to do it. But you're going to want to do that for both files. After you do that, just kind of. Oh, crap. Just have those where you know where they are. <sighs> now we're gonna go to your editing program. I use After Effects for this. You can use Photoshop. Heck, you could use Paint. I mean, anything that edits a picture, you can use. Um, I might not support the file. If it doesn't support the file, then I don't know how to help you. Um, for some reason, all of my cro programs decided that they want to use Bandicam. <laughs> to open them up and it's not working very well so I have to manually go in and do this this is raw footage though so you're welcome it's always fun to watch ah crap I shall return momentarily okay so I got it working now so the uh, first thing we're gonna do when we're editing it is uh, we're gonna open up the files and I'm not gonna have you watch the entire editing process because that would bore me to death but I'm gonna show you uh, kind of what to look for this is gonna be a pretty good one to start off with weapon we're gonna do the uh, first person one first there we go and it's gonna have that weird like blue green foresty background this is gonna pop up if you're using Adobe that's okay we drag it into the composition okay what is that? Is that a bullet? I don't know I guess we'll never know um, so what we're looking at here is a, what the weapon would look like if it were perhaps smashed by a piano uh, basically this is a 2D image of the weapon so we can go down edit every single little thing we want um, but I couldn't tell you what that part is or that part or that part so I'm gonna stick with what I know I know that's the mag I know that's the uh, rear sight I know this is the uh, handguard that's the handle I'm guessing that's a bullet I don't know I know that's a fire selector switch but that's we're not gonna worry about that I'm gonna make a, a gray veil so I'm not going to bore you all with it, but I'll show you once I'm done. Okay. So, this is kind of my crude edit. I'm probably going to come back and refinish this more. Um, darn it. What did I miss there? Nothing. But once, I mean, it's literally editing the picture. Um, I'm probably going to go back and do that handle. But once we're done editing the picture, just go ahead and uh, save it as a JPEG or a PNG might work. I haven't tried it. And I'm going to save this right into my folder. Right there. Oh crap, what I do? And you're going to do the same thing for your uh, W file, the third person file. Okay, so once that's done, I'm going to keep that open just in case. Uh, let's see. Now we're going to go back to VTF Edit. So here we are already. Uh, once we're at this little window, we're going to hit File. Go down to uh, Import. And we're going to import the picture we just made. I feel like I've passed it. There it is. Hit OK, and then don't don't mess with it on here. It might take a minute to load, but that's okay. Yeah, 
and it's not 